Hello, I'm Titanic Spider, and this is a 40 minute treaty guide on Mexico. Most players like to use the trade card from wood to coin for an extra 50% coin, as well as the 20% villager gather rate flag, in combination with church card for a 20% HP and attack bonus to musketeers, but an increase in build time by 40%. Using this build, most players take exotic hardwood card in age 1 over rum distillery. This build will be utilizing the Wood Trickle card and Rum Distillery allowing for constant flow of wood and better gather rate of gold. With Trade Build, you will have a higher boom score and better resource gather rate but with slower unit production. As you can see, the gather rate isn't much better. With the Flag bonus, you will gather an extra 12 food per minute but 6 gold less per minute. Both builds utilize a Church card, but my build has far greater build time. On the right, this is the best build time you can get without team cards or native upgrades. On the left, you can build your units out of your forts at the times shown. Your units will be on par with other Mexico builds but train faster. This build also allows you to build up to 4 forts with the Port Vera Cruise card. Your forts will be able to attack units as well as buildings with a range of 48. If you select the fort, you are able to choose what its target will be. This build also allows your explorer to build up to 4 field hospitals. Each field hospital has a 10 health per second aura that stacks for a total of 40 health per second for every unit within reach. This boom will be rather simple and it will not require any revolts. You will want to split 3 villagers to wood and the rest to food. While you are gathering treasures with the explorer, it is okay to gather llama and sheep treasures as well as you can actually use them as Mexico to put onto your haciendas later on to help you gather with food or gold. One benefit to playing Mexico is that your explorer cannot build town centers, this way you do not need to keep him close to the base when you hit age 3. You can have him exploring and gathering treasures throughout the entire 40 minutes. You will be getting all three market age ups, all three market upgrades in age one, but make sure you get hunting dogs first and the other two can be in any order that you desire. You will not be sending any shipments in age 1. The first shipment you will be sending will be a shipment that comes from the age up, which will be this one, which gives you a free hacienda as well as each hacienda counts as 20 population spaces where you will not be required to make any houses. Once you have placer mines queued up, make sure you move your settlers off of the trees and back into food. You will be requiring a very specific set of shipments before 40 minutes to ensure you have a, a strong starting build as well as setting up for a good boom straight into some powerful units and fast building. So if you do find any treasures with experience, make sure you gather them.
Once you have age 2 queued up, you want to make sure you split your villagers as needed to gather 1,200 food and 1,000 coin. If you end up gathering more food than needed and reach the 1,200 requirement beforehand, make sure you switch your villagers off onto coin as it will be a very close call to getting the, the resources required to go to straight into age 3. At this point I will not be gathering any more treasures with my explorer, as if, if you were playing with real players, most of the treasures, if not all, will have already been gathered up at this point, and I do not want the boom to be higher than it sh could possibly be in a real match. Now that I have gathered all the food required, I'm going to transfer all my villagers over to the gold, this way I can make sure I have exactly 1000 gold going into age 2. Once you do go into uh, going into H3, once you do go into H3, you will want to gather an extra 250 gold because you will want to get the wood chopping upgrade to get your town centers, your church, as well as your hacienda. So as soon as it comes out, make sure you send your shipment for the hacienda and build the saloon. You will want to age up with San Luis, and once it comes out, you're gonna to want to gather that gold that comes out there because you will need 500 gold for the cathedral as well. One difference that will be done here is that we will be building one town center and then we will be building the cathedral and then the other town center. Once you have the 250 gold, switch seven to eight villagers over to, the, to food as you will need them for your settlers and then the rest to wood. You will want to set your town center to wood as well as you will need it for both the haciendas and the town centers. Once your once your free hacienda is set up, you will want to make sure that you put your cow on it. This way, you can begin gathering you food. With this build, we will not be using a flag to increase the gather rate, so putting them close together is not going to be a problem. You can place them wherever you need to. One benefit for playing Mexico is that your priest can also build you your cathedral. This way you do not need to send any settlers over from, from gathering resources to the cathedral. As soon as you hit age 3, you will send your next shipment, which will be Mexican mint as you will need it later, and followed by refrigeration. We'll get the first TC built and then have those settlers go right back to, to wood. Make sure you gather that gold as I stated before. The very next thing you're going to want to build will be the church because you will need every shipment that you can get. And the sooner you can get the church out, the more shipments you will be able to get. As soon as you can get it, make sure you put it down.
you will want all your town centers set to wood. That is, once you, once you finish your town centers, you will be going straight for all your haciendas. Once you have enough resources to gather your steel traps, make sure you get that. At this point, you will want to gather as much wood as possible because all you're going to be building is the rest of your haciendas. A total of five more. You will be saving all of your shipments until age th uh, four as well. I personally like to send at least one food shipment on the hacienda as it also increases the slow trickle of food that the hacienda gives you as well. Make sure when you send a villager over to build a hacienda, he goes straight back to wood once he's done, because you will need to gather wood as fast as possible. If you want, you can gather the cir circular saw upgrade if you would like, but it is very expensive and may not be needed. For maximum efficiency, you will find that you, that two villagers is perfect, one for each as they come as you get enough resources. Once you have all haciendas built, you will want to gather an extra 500 wood as it will be required for one of the factory shipments. But you can shift as the rest of your villagers off of wood and onto food and gold accordingly re required to get you the 2000 gold food and 1000 gold required for age 4.
At this point, you will want to split your villagers accordingly in order to get the 4,000 food and 4,000 gold required to go into age 5. Once you hit age four, you will immediately send the wood. You will immediately send the the wood factory, then the wood trickle, then the other wood card. At this point, you will focus. The, at this point, you will want to send this shipment as it will give you double shipments from the next age up, which will be vital as it will give you two four factory wagons right off the bat. The reason why you send the wood factory first is it will come out far faster than the rest than the other factory. After that, you will want to focus mostly on shipments of economic cards. As soon as your factory is built, you want to research and switch over to the wood grade. If you find yourself overgathering on food, you will probably have to switch over and sell some of your food in order to get as fast into age 5 as possible. Now that you're going into age 5, you will want to switch all of your villagers over to haciendas and set them to cows. Make sure you send all the cow shipments to one spot. While you're doing this, you will want to be upgrading your gold gather and your food gather as well from, from the haciendas. And make sure you get the wood cutting upgrade as well in both factories on wood. As soon as you go into age 5, you will want to build your capital as soon as possible, even though you will not have the resources required to get the upgrades. Once you have all 20 cows, you will want to switch over, switch all your haciendas over to food. If you have trees nearby, I highly recommend you switch 10 to 14 villagers over to wood as it will be required later on. The reason you want to keep them nearby is because you're going to want to switch all your villagers back over to the haciendas for when you send your habanero card for an increased gather rate and you're going to want to put it on food.
Once you have both the capital upgrade as well as the, gold, the hacienda upgrade for gold, you will want to switch some of them around. This way you can guarantee you're getting food and gold for all the upgrades you need. Once the capital upgrade for food is done, you can switch all your villagers back to haciendas and switch all the haciendas back to food. Make sure all your haciendas are on food and then send the habanero peppers. Once it is done, once it is sent, you'll get a timer in the top right for one minute. You will just leave them sit th sitting there for now. Once that one minute is up, you will want to send the same 10 to 14 villagers to the front lines to begin chopping wood, building your forward base, as well as building your walls. Because we are sending the habanero to gather for gathering rate, specifically on food, you'll be able to switch more of your haciendas over to gold until 40 minutes. If you can afford any upgrades, specifically the wood chopping upgrade before the one minute is up, that would be great as you will be sending your villagers directly to upgrade, directly to wood up chopping. Now that the min is up, you can switch over to Haciendas as well as move your settlers. You will need the extra bonus chopping of wood in order to get all the upgrades by 40 minutes. You will want more on gold gathering than you will want on food since you sent the habanero and are now short on gold. Your explorer should be able to build one fort for you. Make sure you build that before you go into 40 minutes. This way you can get the upgrades because you will be able to rebuild them later. You do not want to use your fort wagons as you will be able to send them directly into the forward base. The only military units you will want to be upgrading is the soldados, faltadors, and your lancers and all four of your artillery. The reason why you will be doing falconets is because you will have an infinite falconet card if you choose to take it, which will help saving resources when building artillery later. One downside to this build is you not be able to chop too much wood, but it'll make it a little bit more difficult to build walls in a forward base. But if you have teammates, make sure you ask them to help you out.
unlike other civilizations, you will want to build full population, full max capacity of houses you can possibly build, as you will be able to send an overpop based on the amount of houses you have in existence at the time. You can delete them later for space. This will also help you with get, getting experience as you will need the experience for the shipments anyway. As, as I stated, here is the card you will be sending it. it is in the church car in the church itself. Ships are free and certain for each house you currently have. Another benefit for Mexico is if you are playing a map such as Andes and you want to have your explorer set up at the natives for the to build the trade post, you can use the the healer instead. This way, it keeps your explorer up at the front of the base. A basic starting army of four culverines, four horse cannons, nine or ten cavalry, and the rest you want to build are going to be Salvador or Vigilantes. The reason behind using those instead of Soldados is you will be sending a shipment before 40 minutes that will transform all of their, your Saltadors to Soldados. The reason why I say 9 or 10 is because with one of the age ups you get 4 lancers to begin with, this way you can only, you only have to build another 5. The reason why I am building my starting army early is to ensure that I can delete these houses early in order to free up space for building an inside base.
entendido el camino no se lo van a esperar con el blanco sí con el camino no se lo van a entendido Make sure you also get both trading cards before 40 as well. At this point, you should be able to afford both the trading cards as well as the unit over pop button as well. After that, you will want to focus on Veracruz National Guard before you get your church card. The church card, if you send it, will slow down your soldado production speed greatly, but if you have the Veracruz National Guard, you'll be able to build them much faster out of the fort. This card you could have sent at 30 minutes, but it doesn't matter as long as you send it before 30 minutes is up, it will grant you experience based on the time you've put into the boom. But you don't want to send it before 30 minutes, as you will not get the max possible experience from it. Now that you have all your units out, it is okay to go ahead and send your overpop boom. This way you can delete those extra houses if you want to. Making sure you get your overpop is very important. So if you're unsure if you're going to get enough experience to get both the overpop as well as both training cards, I highly recommend you go with the overpop. As you can see, we have two more upgrades to get out of the artillery foundry and we're cutting it very close on wood for all the upgrades which is why you want to send between 10 and 14 or 15 villagers to wood after you have done your habanero you can if also need to build extra buildings with inside the base to give you a little more experience in order to get that extra that final shipment before 40 minutes don't forget to also send out all of the minutemen that you can send possible your total overpop should be 300 How you choose to set up your units is entirely up to you, but this is more or less the exact boom setup, starting fight setup that you would want. As you can see, we got the militiamen at the front, and most of our units have been switched over so to soldados, who will gain more health once you get the rest of your upgrades. You still need the arsenal, as well as the grenadiers, the, the grenade, refurbished firearms, as well as both 
shipments for your Lancers as well. But with this build, you're going to want to focus on getting your Veracruz first, followed by either the Church card or the Advanced Arsenal next. As you can see, we were able to get the final upgrade with two minutes left. Plenty of resources, plenty of wood, and plenty of time to, to waste. Direction. Here comes the rest of the units. Or the rest of the start army that comes from the church card that I forgot about. You will not be building any of the insurgents after 40, but if you would like, you can you can upgrade them if you choose to. Your units still cost more food than they do gold, for, so before 40 minutes you do want to make sure you switch some of the haciendas around closer to gathering food than gold. Here is the entire starting army. And still a minute to go with plenty of villagers up towards the front to build forward bases on larger maps as well as wall for you. Along with your explorer in the front to also help you build more ports as you push. With the little hiccups along the way, we still managed to get, on average, 1.74 to 1.75 majority of the time that we do this. But to prove that with the church card, as well as with this build and the church card, no, in the church card, that you will be able to get the full amount of speed that I promised. As you can see, I have sent both a duel in school as well as liberation in March. Come to the church. I have also sent the card that slows down the build time and boosts the attack and health, as well as I have not sent the build time from the natives. Any other build, your soldado should build at roughly 20 seconds, as you can see it's taking a long time. But with this build, with the fort, it will still only take a total of 6 seconds to build, giving you not only equal unit strength to your opponent, but much faster build speed. And that applies to every unit that comes out of the fort. They all build much faster than you can possibly build them over in your barracks and your stable. Thank you for watching my guide. I do stream over on Twitch if you feel if you like coming over and watching. It is still the same name, twitch.tv Titanic Spider. Please stick around and subscribe for more.